In this video, we are going to find out whether a rational number has a terminating decimal expansion without actually performing a long division. Okay? And we'll take two examples, one where this holds true and the other one where it doesn't hold true. So the first one that we have is 23 upon 8. Now, if a rational number, okay, has a terminating decimal expansion, right? What we need to do is we first need to put down the denominator of the rational number in the form 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n, right? In this case, if you write 8 as 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n, there will be nothing about 5. Why? Because 8 is not divisible by 5. So we just write this as 5 to the power 0. Now we know 8 can be written as what? It can be written as 2 cube, right? If you look about 23, 23 is actually not divisible by either 2 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 11, right? So therefore 23 would remain as it is. Now we know that when we write a rational number in this form 2 to the power into 5 to the power n, in that case if it is possible to write it in such a manner, right, where m and n are non-negative integers, non-negative integers, that means that this number will have a terminating decimal expansion. In our case m is equal to 3 which is a non-negative integer and n is equal to 0 which is also a non-negative integer. So effectively what we have is that both m and n are non-negative integers, right, and this expansion can be written as 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 0. So effectively what that means is that this will have a terminating decimal expansion. Should we try that? So let's say we have 23, 8 times 2 gives you 16 minus 70, 8 times 8 gives you 64 minus 6, 60, 8 times 7 gives you 56, right, 4, and obviously I have to put in a decimal point over here, 40, 8 times 5 gives you 40, 0. So now there is a 0 as a remainder, so what we have is that we have a terminating decimal expansion over here. And instead of doing this long division method, we could have found out this by simply putting in the denominator in the form 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n. If it can be expressed such that m and n are non-negative integers, that means that this rational number has a terminating decimal expansion. Now let us look at one more example. 32 divided by 455. Now 32 can be written as what? It can be written as 2 to the power, how much? 5 divided by 455. Now what can we write 455 as? If you do a prime factorization of 455, what you will get is 5 times 7 times 13. Right? Now when I look at 5 times 7 times 13, the denominator, is it being expressed in the form 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n? The answer is no. Because this 7 and 13 is not getting get cancelled out with the numerator. So the denominator actually has some more forms. I mean, I can always write it here as 2 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1 maybe, but it is not only 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n. There are two other components that we have, which means that when we do a division for these two numbers, what we will get is not going to be a terminating decimal expansion. And that I can show you through the use of this calculator. So 32, okay, that is what we have divided by 455 is equal to now if you see the answer that we are getting is a non-terminating decimal expansion and what is repeating itself 703296 703296 703296 so it's a non-terminating I mean it has closed here because that's the number of uh, digits that you have in this calculator but effectively this is a non-terminating decimal expansion Right? 